I'm sorry I'm late with this video. This is the update for March. I'm one month late, but I started a new job. I've been busy with that, and I've been too lazy to make a new, you know, collection video or update, whatever. I've been watching movies instead with a spare time that I actually did have. So, yeah, sorry about that, but I haven't read a lot of manga lately. So, yeah, let's go through this pile. Okay, so we're going from least obscure to most obscure. Uh, yeah, starting with Monster Keaton. And this is the only series in this video that's a recent release. So, yeah, the rest is out of print or in Japanese. Monster Keaton, Volume 2. I haven't read it yet. The first one was great. It's Urasawa, so we already know it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, awesome cover. This isn't too obscure, everybody knows about Asumanga Dayo already. But these are the single volumes, because I didn't want the Omnibus. The Omnibus is too thick, and uh, you know, the spine didn't look too good, you know, in their quality. So the spine might have gotten damaged. So yeah, I wanted the single volumes, found it on eBay for a good price, so yeah. Bit disappointed though, it, Jotsuba is a hundred times better. It was this is not as fun as I thought it would be, but it's still okay. The art isn't very good, but I already know knew this going into it, so yeah, still a bit disappointed, but it's okay. Everybody else likes it. I guess I just haven't read enough of it. Manga Sutra. Last time I showed you volume one, uh, two. This is volume one. I've read it and I actually like it. Uh, it's a comedy. It's not a hentai, from what I thought. Uh, from the site I checked, uh, manga updates. It was not listed as a hentai. It was only listed as a ecchi series, and I've heard that multiple times from other people too that it's an ecchi. But I read this inside of the book by the author. This isn't just a hentai manga. Which means he considers a hentai, uh, but a guide to you know teach about people about sex and stuff. But yeah, he considers it, considers it a hentai. I don't. I consider it as a ecchi, because there are a lot of series out there that are ecchi series with a lot of sex, which are not hentai series. Uh, let me. Oh shit! I can't can't show you that. Oh, not that either. So, yeah, uh, there are sex. Shit, man. There's a lot of sex in it, but it's not that graphic. You can show. Yeah, this I can show. This is. Yeah, there are more graphic stuff than this, but. Yeah, not much worse than that it goes into detail a lot you know about stuff but it doesn't show too much except for tits and, and silhouettes I guess uh, yeah as you can see it's like this a lot it's fun I liked it it might get a bit repetitive after time but it's a nice release, you know, it's a big volume and not too many people have read it, I guess, you know, in English. So, it's pretty nice to have. Offered Ryuichi Gami. Last time I bought the first volume. I couldn't wait, I had to pick the second one up. So this is the conclusion of the series, only two volumes, four in Japan. Two in English, since these are two in ones, very hard to find for a good deal. I paid, you know, a bit much for it, I guess. But considering it's actually two volumes in one, and a lot of series today are very expensive, it's uh, it's not that bad a deal. So yeah, 
being how rare it is. So yeah, I had a complete series. If you want it, you should get it. But man, it's hard to find for a good deal. I haven't read it yet, but yeah. So happy to have it. Rui Chigami is one of my favorite mangakas ever. Project X 7-Eleven. The last volume that I didn't have. Finally have it. I have all three volumes. Basically, how they came up with 7-Eleven, I guess. The miraculous success of Japan's 7-Eleven stores. Yeah. As you can see, the art is pretty good, very realistic. If you want Project X, it's only three volumes, but you don't need all of them. This is by itself. There's another one about the car that's by itself, and another one about cup noodles. They're all made by different mangakas, so... Yeah, it's pretty interesting series, I guess. I haven't read them yet, but the concept is pretty cool. Moya Simon, Tales of Agriculture. I can't say that in English. Very weird looking volumes. 13 volumes in Japan. Only two released in English, unfortunately. It's supposed to be pretty good. Very dialogue heavy as you can see a lot of text let's look at this holy shit look at that so much text anyway as you can see the art or the lines are very dark and thick pretty unique art yeah I haven't read it yet looks pretty interesting Del Rey. Yeah, only two volumes released in English, as I said. Then it got cancelled, I guess. This one is pretty obscure. Club 9. It's supposed to be five volumes, but only three was released in English. Um, so yeah, I'm missing the last part of the series since it's not released. In single volumes but you can get the complete series if you buy uh, the super manga blast issues dark horse released way back you know monthly or weekly so if you buy volumes 13 through 55 of super manga blast you can get the complete series of club 9 but yeah I might buy them later but I wanted these volumes to try the series out and they were you know, looked pretty interesting, so that's why I bought the single volumes. And if I want to complete it, I can buy the Super Manga Blast issues. So yeah, it's about a country girl going to college in Tokyo, I guess. She has to move out from the dorm room, so she needs money. She starts working as a hostess in a host club called Club 9, I guess. I haven't read it yet, so I don't know, but I guess that's the name of the club. It's a comedy. I think it was made in the 90s. I'm not sure. It looks very good. I mean, the art is good. I really like the art. Very unique. It looks very funny. Yeah, interesting. I don't know why I haven't read it yet because I really want to I just haven't gotten around to it <laughs> and me and the devil blues people might know about this already but yeah only two volumes long in English you know because these are omnibuses so there's two volumes in this one and there's a second one so it's four volumes in total in Japan Unfortunately, these volumes are so fucking hard to come by for a good price. I found this retail price. So I'm happy to have it. I want the second volume, but that is impossible to find. I haven't checked for I haven't looked for it for a while, so there might it might be out there for a good deal now. I don't know, but I didn't find it for a good price when I bought this one at least. So, yeah. This is made by the same uh, dude that does Prison School, as you can see. And Prison School is actually getting a release in English very soon. 
happy to have this. This is supposed to be one of the better series translated into English. So yeah, as you can see, the art is very, very good and dark. Me and the Devil Blues. If you can find this, buy it. It's supposed to be amazing. I can't read Japanese, so I don't buy Japanese volumes. But this month, or last month, I went fucking crazy. I went mental and I bought a fuck ton of it. And yeah. Dragon Ball SD is supposed to be total garbage. But easy to read apparently if you're learning Japanese. So that's the only reason why I bought it. Uh, I can make it. I can make out words, but I can't read sentences, so yeah, it's still hard for me to read this. Only bought it because it looked easy to read and heard it was easy to read. This one, Polar Bear Cafe, is supposed to be very good and pretty easy to read. And when I looked online, the words looked separated. I don't know why they looked separated. But yeah, that's why I bought it. But of course, they were not, because that's not the way Japanese is written. They don't use spaces. But for some reason, it's written like fucking shit, like this. Horizontally. I don't know why, but yeah. Does that make it easier? I don't fucking know. Yeah, supposed to be real good. I only think there are five volumes out, so this is everything, I guess. Pretty big volumes, yeah. So these are for reading purposes only, like early in my studies, I guess. This I really want to read because it looks good, so yeah. Now this is a complete release of a Japanese series never translated into English. Not a series I would normally buy, but I did think it looked good the complete series of Sijo Saiki Unadeshi Kenichi history's strongest disciple Kenichi now I don't like battle manga and I don't read edgy series too often but there are a lot of interesting edgy series out there and uh, I've been very into edgy lately there's a lot of fun series out there as I said and uh, I read some of them and then I wanted to buy one series and uh, this actually looked very fun. I mean it's a battle series which is not my preference really but the art was so amazing and uh, it was fully translated online so if I actually want to read it I can read it in English but I want to be able to read it in Japanese because it's a shonen and uh, there is furigana in it, as you can see. I doubt it's easy, but there's there are furigana at least, so if I learn Japanese someday, I might be able to read these. Or I can just read them online, so yeah. It's nice to have. The covers are incredible. Just look at this art, man. It's so beautiful. So yeah. As I said, not the series I would normally read or buy, but I had to buy this because it looks so good. I mean, the art and stuff. Um, so yeah, it might be bad, it might not be. Look at this cover, it's fucked up. Look, shit. These are all used, but uh, I got them used from... Uh, Japanese Amazon, so I think they're, they've been in a cafe or something. But man, most of them are in great condition. Just look at this. Almost new. And look at that cover. Holy shit, look how beautiful these covers are. I paid about $2 each. Which is not a lot. Free shipping. Look at this, this is probably one of the better covers. Look, so beautifully painted and stuff. Very detailed. As I said, I don't like 
when manga it has this very manga ish style, but in this it's actually very good. Fucking shit, come on, focus. Let me show you something inside. Very nice art, as you can see. Yeah, fucking beautiful. That looks painful. I've just been babbling on. I don't even know what I've said, said during going through these covers. Also, this is probably one of my favorite covers. The red is fucking beautiful. Look at that color. Shit, man. These covers are so colorful. So, these are all 61 volumes, the original complete series, and this is a Gaiden, you know, an extra volume or whatever, and plus. So, yeah, that's everything that's out. There is another series that's about five volumes, which this is based on, I guess. But I didn't find it for a good deal, so I didn't care about those. Another complete Japanese series. All 26 volumes of Love Junkies. As I said, I've been very much into Etchy lately. And this is supposed to be one of the better Etchy series ever created. Love Junkies. Now, I'm so tired of Etchy series where there's always this one main character trying to get laid or getting his first kiss. And the whole series is always about that build up to the, last, uh, the first kiss. And... And it's nothing more than that. Now this series is actually a main character that gets laid all the fucking time. At least by the look of it. Now I really want to read this. And I looked online and it looked like there was Furigana in this. But no, of course not. <sighs> so annoying. So this is gonna be a fucking pain in the ass to read. And I don't know Japanese yet that much, so yeah, that's gonna be a fucking challenge. I can make out words, but <laughs> not sentences, so yeah. Now, I could read this online, but it's not fully translated in English online either, so. Yeah, I'll have to wait until I know Japanese, I guess. But I really wanted to have this. It looked so good. And it's a nice thing to have in your collection. Now, as you can see, the art is good. I'm going to try and show you something better. No, not the last volume. That's spoilers. Uh, fucking shit. Come on. There's so much stuff. I can't show in this. Oh, that's a bad picture. Yeah, as you can see, the art is very nice. Now, no, I can't show you that. Uh, people consider uh, Manga Sutra as a edgy series. Well, this is a uh, edgy series also, but this is way more graphic than Manga Sutra. And the author of Manga Sutra, as I showed you before, considered that a hentai. But I don't. Uh, now this is more graphic than that, and this is all not edgy, so yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Everyone that's into edgy should read a series called Sandome by Kasuto Okada. It's one of my favorite works ever. It's an edgy series, which is very, very funny and incredibly perverted. Even more perverted than Love Junkies, Kenichi, and Manga Sutra, or whatever. All about, yeah, fetishes and stuff. <laughs> it's fun. It's very, very fun. Now, that's the Sandomi is the only work released by him in English. So I decided to buy some in Japanese, some other, uh, other of his series. First one being Ibitsu. The thing with Akade is sometimes he's, he draws like this, like very good, as you can see, very nice. Other times it looks like this, which is horrible, one of the worst panels I've seen in my life, 
and trust me there are panels that look even worse so yeah you either like the art or hate it I guess I like it but at times it looks like this unfortunately which is terrible now this is just a glimpse of how perverted this manga is this is nothing I might be able to show you some things I mean it's very similar to to Sandome so if you know that manga you know pretty much what this manga is gonna be like I mean it's very similar so yeah volume 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now as I said similar to Sandome it's a girl that controls when another guy can masturbate and shit like that so yeah it's very funny I actually read the first three volumes online but that's all that's translated so I decided to buy them Japanese and I might be able to just look through them I don't know and just like figure out what the story is I don't fucking know I thought it was for Ghana but of course there was not just like with every Oh shit, I can't show that. God damn it. Now another series by Okada. Hop, Step, Jump. All nine volumes. The complete series. Very nice covers. If you can read Japanese, you can tell. Hop, Step, Jump. Said like an amateur. Very nice covers. You can tell again how perverted these series are. Yes, but looking at the covers, that's a very nice cover. I like that. Yeah. As I said, very perverted. Now this, the art in this is actually better than uh, Sandome and Ibiza, I'd say. Very nice. Again, perverted. Very nice. I really want to read it, but yeah, we'll see when I'll be able to. No Furigana on this one either. Now, this is the one series I want to read the most in this whole video. Or, yeah, I guess I might be. Yeah, Love Yankees, I might want to read more, I don't know. But this one is by Okada. Also, you know. And this is actually. One of his earlier works before Hop Step Jump, before he beats it, before Sandome. So, you might think the art is worse, but no, the art is way better, I think. It's more balanced, it's more consistent, it has a very nice look to it. Might not be as detailed, but. Overall, it's more balanced, which makes it better. Let's look at it. It's beautiful. And again, it's very perverted. Let's look at the back of this volume. Now, this is probably one of my favorite covers. I like look of any series. The spines and all. Just look how beautiful it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can definitely tell it's him by this cover. Yeah. Just look at this. Wow, that's a great cover. Just amazing. I would love to read this, but yeah. Anyway, all 18 volumes. 143 volumes. The pile in the upper left corner is English. All the rest is in Japanese. I would have never bought these volumes, the Japanese ones, if they weren't as cheap as they were. I paid about $2 each per volume, so that's pretty cheap if you ask me. Hopefully I might be able to read them someday, I don't know. That is the goal at least. Kenichi, Dragon Ball SD and uh, Polar Bear Cafe, I might be able to read it. In a couple of months, I guess. I mean, not everything, but some of it. The other ones, 
might take forever since there's no furigana so yeah happy to have them they're all bought from Japanese Amazon from Japanese sellers so they're all being used I don't know if they were used by one person or used in a cafe I, I'm not sure Love Junkies volumes were bought from a Japanese seller on eBay so again I don't know if they're uh, owned by a private person or by a cafe but every single volume is in great condition except for maybe four or five of the Kenichi volumes but they're not too bad either so yeah happy to have them now I've been slowing down on collecting since this uh, haul I haven't bought anything in uh, April and I'm not gonna buy a lot of more manga I might actually sell off some of the series I have you know to save up money for other stuff I want to travel and shit so yeah I'm still buying ongoing series like Monster Monster Keaton and stuff like that so yeah and I still have a couple of other series I want Black Lagoon Ikigami and a couple of other series so yeah we'll see how much I'm gonna buy in the future I don't know I don't really have any more space I might make reviews of some of the more obscure series that I have you know offered Moya Simon and uh, yeah all the other shit you've seen in my other videos so yeah we'll see I don't read too much anymore and I have times where I read a lot in a short period of time and then I have months where I don't read nothing at all so yeah I don't know I'm not gonna promise anything but I might put out some reviews we'll see <laughs> yeah peace